Yeah, so let's look at the next question here, guys. This question says that if the ratio of discount percentage to the markup percentage is 1 is to 3, and the ratio of profit percentage to discount percentage is 7 is to 5, so find the cost price of the article if its selling price is given as rupees 8960. Let's look at it. Let's look at this question here. This question now says that. So it's given that discount percent is to mark uh, markup percentage. The ratio is 1 is to 3. Fine. And then uh, profit percentage to discount percentage. The ratio is 7 is to 5. It's given here. Fine. If you observe here, so first of all, you have to work in ratios, right? So basically, we don't have any starting point here. So again, the uh, what we heard, uh, what we uh, solved in the last question actually, we we'll use that funda here, right? So it, it was says it says that the discount of like uh, discount is one here, okay? So here discount is one and here discount is five. The discount percentage is, uh, is supposed to be same identity, right? Okay, the discount percentage is both place should be same actually, right? So what I'll do, I just this is ratio, so I'll just multiply by five to make discount is to mark price. Uh, sorry, discount percentage to markup percentage. Ratio will be five is to fifteen, and then the uh, here the profit is to uh, profit percentage to discount percentage. Okay, uh, that ratio here will be seven is to five. Seven is to five. Correct. Now. So I just I can just assume this as so basically it's talk about the same article right so we have converted the same unit now so I can use this now this is seven x and five x okay and now this is five and five is same so this becomes five x right and this becomes fifteen x because uh five x five x is same so all will term all will come in terms of x only okay and in the last question we learned this concept what concept we learned here guys we learned this concept that a uh, successive change of okay successive change of a uh, profit sorry markup percentage and discount percentage markup percentage and discount percentage is equal to profit percentage or loss percentage right okay so now i see that this is a and this is b so i just me write my formula here i'll write here okay a plus b plus ab by 100 is equal to some profit we don't know right this is a profit here okay now what is a here guys so a is equal to uh, a is the markup percentage so markup percentage in my case is 15x right okay so it is 15x so markup percentage a is the markup percentage okay so let me write here a is the markup percentage okay now b here is the discount percentage okay and is profit okay fine so now i can write this as so it is markup percentage here it is 15x so i'll put 15x here okay now discount percentage will, will be negative right it's a discount of 5x so discount of 5x means uh, sorry uh, yeah it's a discount of 5x so discount of discount means decreasing value right discount means a negative negative thing okay so 15x plus minus 5x and plus a into b so a is plus uh, a into b so i think a is markup percent is 15x here okay and b is minus 5x here and divide by 100 and is equal to p percent so what is the overall profit right so profit is 7x 7x this is 7x so that's my equation to get the value of x right so very nice question it is if you can decode this thing you can easily easily solve such questions okay so now 10x uh, it, it's, it, it gives me that 10x and now this value will be uh, 15 into 5 that is minus 75x square divided by 100 is equal to 7x. So obviously again x is not 0 that just cancel out x here. Okay. You just cancel out this x here. So the value will be actually uh, 75 uh, that is 3 by 4x this part will be equal to 3. Okay. Therefore x will be equal to 4. So we got the value of x as 4 here. Right. So once we get the value of x as 4 here, I need to find the cost price of the article. Okay. If selling price is rupees 8960. So now if x is 4, the cost price will be how much, right? That's what we need to think here. Okay. So what I can what I can think here is okay, basically the profit to cost price to selling price, right? So basically if cost price is 100 x okay, so what is the profit if you, if you can see here? Or let's say what is the cost price? Let's say 
we always assume cost price to be 100 y well something like in terms of 100 right so if cost price is 100 y here okay what i'll think here is uh to from cost price to selling price the only thing it can take it forward is profit percentage right so now profit percentage is 7x here okay and we put x equal to 4 so profit percent becomes 28 percent so 28 percent profit now this sp will be 128y and that is given as 8960 okay so now 128y is equal to uh, 8 uh, 8960 just a minute. Yeah, rupees eight nine six zero. You can cancel it, right? One twenty eight into seven. Yeah, seven hundred will go. Take it go seven times. This becomes seven hundred. So therefore, y is equal to what? Y is equal to seven hundred. Okay. Now you got the value of y here. Okay. What you actually wanted is not seven hundred. I think uh one twenty eight seventy should be sorry seventy right. 70 to 70 okay it should be 70 so y is equal this is equal to 70 right this is 70 so if y is 70 so cost price will be 100 into 70 that is equal to rupees 7000 that's the answer of this beautiful question okay so in the last question also we discussed this concept i hope you are now aware of such concepts right very good concept it is okay chalo okay And also, also this combat guys, okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series, it contains some good high quality questions, okay, so the easy questions are, are not asked here, so it basically, it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts, okay, and uh, uh, this, from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format, so basically we are mo moving closer to CAT right now, so in January, February and March, we were like, uh, we, uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from CAT so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right but this from down onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank one two three one year subscription i think around twenty thousand or 75% scholarship or 50% so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every Sunday do give this at 12 p.m. it's on every Sunday okay so every Sunday give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.